Good morning. I'm not in the car today because it's a beautiful day in Worcestershire Shire, which means it must also be a beautiful day in Herefordshire Shire, which is just one shire over. And if you live in Herefordshire Shire, you got this to deal with. Herefordshire Council is pushing ahead with plans to increase the use of 20 mile an hour zones on the county's roads with a £100,000 investment in working up the policy. Herefordshire Council's official notice on the public procurement website says this tender relates to the development of a 20 mile an hour speed limit policy for Herefordshire. Herefordshire Council seeks professional consultancy services support to develop and deliver this policy document. When awarded, the six month contract will run between February and August next year. So does that mean that they're consulting on this February to August next year? Herefordshire councillors passed a motion in 2020 to investigate the introduction of area-wide 20 mile hour speed limits across Herefordshire's towns and major villages after a motion to restrict this to schools and accident black spots was defeated. Why was a motion to restrict 20 mile an hour zones to schools and accident black spots defeated? I'll tell you why, because nefarious people are influencing councillors. It really is as simple as that. This is all connected to everything that I've been saying forever. I've got two bleak videos today before we get back to having some fun. Because this is not good, is it? It started in, I didn't start in Wales. It started, I think, in Surrey. Um, now we've got Wales that is full on 20 mile an hour limit. Hereford's obviously going to be next. And I'm next, Worcestershire Shire. So, and then, and then you, you know, then we'll be into over towards the M40. It's going to be everywhere. 20 mile an hour zones everywhere. I've done it. I've done it in Wales. It doesn't work. You can't get around. It slows everybody down. It destroys the economy because you can't get to where you're going. Everybody's driving around at 15 to 17 miles an hour. It is debilitating. This is the government deliberately cutting your leg off. They're saying that they're trying to protect the economy whilst at the same time whipping the chair out from underneath you. They've got no interest in what you're up to. They've got no interest in protecting the economy and protecting your livelihood. And every interest in stopping you from going where you need to be. We need to really realise that this is exactly what's happening. It's not about road safety. Nothing to do with road safety. Nothing to do with pollution. Because when you have 20 mile an hour zones put in, crashes go up and pollution goes up. Because your car is not designed to go at 20 mile an hour. My car is not designed to go at 20 mile an hour. I've got a diesel car, ooh, dirty diesel. But what that means is if I constantly drive around at 20 mile an hour, my diesel particulate filter, which has been designed into the car to protect the environment, will never do the job that it's supposed to do, which will destroy the car and pollute more. So if you're wondering whether these 20 mile an hour limits are a good idea, they are. They're a brilliant idea outside schools when it's time for dropping off kids or picking them up. The rest of the time, no, you might as well chop your own leg off, as I've said. And if our politicians are doing this to us, we need to ask why, and we need to ask who is telling them to do it. The previous county administration then said in its draft master plan for Hereford, a draft master plan for Hereford, sort the traffic out. Hereford's a nightmare for driving around. Just sort the traffic out. 20 mile an hour is not going to help. Transforming Hereford's local transport to support people-friendly streets will be underpinned by a range of modest policies and projects, including an area-wide 20 mile an hour limit. People-friendly streets. That's one of those lovely airy-fairy terms, isn't it? Like 15 minute cities. Won't it be great if we install 15 minute cities and you never have to go more than 15 minutes from your house? Oh, that sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah, let's let's make everywhere a 15 minute city so people have got doctor surgeries and schools and gyms and places of worship and recreation parks and everything within 15 minutes. That sounds really, really good. Let's do that. That's a great thing for people. What do we need to do? What do we do first? Uh, cameras. Yeah, put, put some cameras up on all the access roads. Yeah, we'll do that. And um, take out a lane and put in a cycle lane and... Um, shut some of the shops what what do you mean i appreciate the shops have been shut because of the decline in business from when you put in the low traffic neighborhood but why is it that you're telling me that in order to put in a 15 minute city for people's convenience the first thing you need to install is the cameras oh well um we've got to stop people leaving the 15 minute neighborhood haven't they if they've got everything that they need 
they don't need to go anywhere so we can stop them going somewhere with the cameras and we can track where they're going why do we need to stop them from going anywhere because it's a 15 minute city and they don't need to go anywhere but we haven't built the infrastructure yet you haven't put in a new play park there's no new recreation places for children the hospital's too far away the doctor surgery isn't within 15 minutes you haven't done the basics of giving people the thing that you're promising them well hang on a minute you've already put up the cameras haven't you you have i've seen them they're on lampposts on the in road and out road on every city and town in the uk Shh! don't tell anyone you're a bastard you are basically in the meantime neighboring wales introduced a 20 mile hour speed limit across most residential areas in september in common with a growing number of english local authorities all of whom have been infiltrated by a certain organisation headed up by a certain person. I'll put him there, look. Eat the bugs. The campaign group 20's Plenty For Us, I bet if I dig into them, I find some dodgy stuff going on in the background with who's funding them and who's financing them and who's pushing them and who's connected to who. I can guarantee it. But informal polling shows the idea remains highly divisive in Herefordshire Shire. Of course it does, because anyone who lives in Herefordshire Shire has probably driven in Wales, and if you've driven in Wales, then you'll know that it doesn't work. I did it yesterday. Yesterday, I actually drove from Wales into Herefordshire Shire on big open roads underneath big skies like this. And do you know what happened? I got stuck behind an old lady who was doing 17 miles an hour in Herefordshire because she couldn't work out where she was and she didn't know how fast she should have been going. Yesterday I drove from Swansea in Wales to Worcestershire and it should have been a fantastic drive through the Brecon Beacons and do you know what? It was rubbish. So here I am passing through, having just bought the Volvo from Craig, who's a legend. So I am in the valleys and I'm in this little community center sort of cafe that you need places like this. You need community. You need these little buildings where villages and humans come together. Because if we come together, that's the one thing that we've got that can defeat all of this bad stuff that's going on in the world right now. The only thing that is going to defeat it is community. This stuff is really, really important. So I've sat here and I've had a breakfast and I've had a chat with all the girls and they're like, what are you doing here? And I was just passing through and I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to stop there, even if it looks like the sort of place where I would have gone to church when I was a kid. But I've had my breakfast, I've charged my phone, I've done some editing there and now i'm getting back on the road these places matter and as i said in other videos the plan to get road users off the roads doesn't just involve taking away your car keys it involves making the road so bad to drive on that you don't even want to go out in your car that's what all of this is about and if you watch my other video that's what all that is about as well that is it i'm not making any more dark videos for this what we're going to call this december 1st Jeff's Freezing Friday. And I can think of other words that begin with F that go along with both of these videos. No more now, I'm going for a coffee and then I'm gonna make something fun to go out on Friday evening for you, okay? Sorry about those videos this morning, but for those of you that were moaning that my videos weren't, get, weren't, weren't serious like they used to be back in the old days, stick that one in your pipe and freeze it. <laughs>